Yale Real Living Deadbolt Installation Components and Installing the Deadbolt Latch As noted in the instructions, here are the components. We have the outside escutcheon, the inside escutcheon, the inside mounting plate, adjustable latch bolt with two mounting screws, two bolts, three screws, full mechanical installation and programming instructions, two keys, a strike with two mounting screws, four AA alkaline batteries, door marking template, and a quick start guide to installation and programming. Be sure your Yale Real Living Deadbolt components include a wireless network module if you plan to enroll your deadbolt into a home control system. To learn how to insert the wireless network module into the lock, please see Installing Wireless Network Module video. Let's start by installing the deadbolt latch. The Yale Real Living Deadbolt comes with an adjustable latch so that it can be installed on a door that has a back set of either 2 and 3 8 inches or 2 and 3 quarter inches. To learn how to adjust the back set of the latch, should you need to adjust it to a different position, please see the deadbolt latch adjustment video. You will want to make sure that the latch spring mechanism is facing upward and that the latch is in the retracted, unlocked position. Insert the screws, but do not tighten all the way. Yale Real Living Deadbolt Installation Installing the Keypad Escutcheon Next, we will install the keypad escutcheon with the weather-resistant seal. Make sure you guide the control wires under the latch that is already assembled on the door. Position the tailpiece in the proper position to engage the bolt. Ensure that the bolt is in the retracted position. Then slide the assembly in place. Yale Real Living Deadbolt Installation Installing the Interior Mounting Plate Next, we will install the interior mounting plate from the escutcheon. First, remove the interior mounting plate. Guide the wire through the cutout like this. The lip of your escutcheon plate inserts into the exterior housing cutout like so. You will want to make sure it is flush on the door and straight before moving forward. Next, insert the bolts. Make sure you tighten them down snug, but be careful not to over tighten the screws. Yale Real Living Deadbolt Installation Attaching the Cable Assembly Install Interior Escutcheon Now install the Interior Escutcheon Assembly beginning with attaching the wiring harness. Make sure it is seated properly in the plug. Tuck the cable under the plastic guide on the side. This will move the cable out of the way to insert the tailpiece onto the thumb turn shaft assembly. Prior to installing the interior escutcheon, ensure that the thumb turn piece is placed in the vertical position. Once attached, you will want to adjust the wire to allow the interior escutcheon to sit flush to the plate assembly. Make sure you have pressed the interior escutcheon firmly onto the interior mounting plate. You will want to insert two screws inside the battery cover and one screw in the bottom of the escutcheon to attach the inside escutcheon. Test that you have properly engaged the latch by turning the thumb turn. It should turn smoothly. Tighten the screws in the latch face. Do not over tighten. Be sure to leave the latch bolt in the unlocked position before completing the remaining installation steps. Yale Real Living Deadbolt Installation Install the batteries. Install the four AA batteries which are supplied. Welcome to Yale Real Living. 
Finally, we will install the battery cover. Yale Real Living Deadbolt Installation, handing the lock. Be sure to leave the latch bolt in the unlocked position with the latch bolt retracted. The first time you wake up the lock, handing lock. it will automatically set the handing for your door swing. The Yale Real Living Deadbolt hands the lock as it directs the latch bolt to the right or left. The deadbolt latch extends into the locked position and the handing is complete.